goal in the final seven minutes and 20 seconds of the second quarter, which puts the Wolves on top by two as we begin the second half. It's Russell, Beverly, Vanderbilt. Edwards is out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Wheeling has his second. Paul George in this game started two of four from the field. He has gone 0 of six. Great explanation, Joe. Thank you very much. Here come the Clippers again. Down by two. George will push the issue and find Zubac with a dump pass. And it goes in to tie the game at 54. You got to start putting the pedal, gas on the pedal here. Anthony Edwards. With Russell and Edwards. Shot clock at four. He'll smash his way down low. Shot clock at one. Dancing, driving, kicking. Wow! <laughs> Just in with eight. What a shot. George muscling his way for the deuce. And they're going right at Carl Anthony Towns in those four yes, fouls, they right? Are. Angelo Russell, a seventh-year player out of Ohio State, played there a year. Top freshman in the country. 15-footer over George. He's at one point in the first quarter. Percent from the free throw line. And he nails the first. Rutler was on this Timberwolves team. His performance in the postseason did not match what he did. Wiggins saying they both played a little too soft for him. It's Zubats, the former Laker, now Clipper, into Towns. See, they're going, old school. But they're nice going play. right at him yep. because they know he can't be. Minnesota with Beverly. It's Russell in the corner. It's a three from Edwards. No. Rebound Towns. His first of the night. And the Timberwolves have gone up by five. with the shot clock running down and deemed he did not get it off in time so take those three points by Beverly off the board it's a two-point Minnesota lead but Reggie there's no doubt that Beverly has been the most impactful Timberwolf player this season first year with the team and just tonight we've seen the way he can be such an irritant and just plays a scrappy style of ball and of course no one knows that better than the Clippers where he played for the last four years. Well he has a big voice and a big presence and when you've got a young team like this and it's on the verge you need voices like that. Nice shot there by Morris nice over stroke. Vanderbilt. Yep. That's a two. The average is 15. And he ties the game at 60. And we're approaching the halfway portion of the third quarter. Timberwolves have gotten four second chance points, had none on 26 misses in the first half. And they're number five in the league in second chance points. Edwards, it's Beverly three. Hit the side of the backboard. Towns vacuums it in. It's Edwards, a three and good. It's the fourth made three by Edwards. Up 18. To 18. Wow, he has got the stroke. Edwards, Reggie averages 21 a game. We're coming out party, right? Yep. On the biggest stage. Chance to move on and secure that seventh spot. Jackson three over time. Look it. They just have shot makers on this Clippers team. Everyone can score the basketball. Reggie Jackson last couple of years was 45% from three. This year, 32%. That was a wild pass snared by D'Angelo Russell. Towns chiseling in. The big man inside Vanderbilt who slams it through and he's got three. See, they're not even playing Vanderbilt. Nope. Right? So every time Zubas, who is guarding Vanderbilt, comes to help, he needs to do exactly that. Shadow him right off his back. George with a three. Good looking stroke outside. And Paul George is uh, up now to 15 with his second three and gives the Clippers a one point lead. Vanderbilt takes it in. Approaching five to play in the third. Wolves are shooting 42%. Clippers are shooting 42%.
Here comes Edwards. In mid-flight, adjusted and fouled. Low airborne and sailing to the rim. And Kevin, you're talking about Patrick Beverly being that irritant. This is the night of uh, Patrick Beverly. He just has his hand, his face, his chest in the middle of everything. And he picks up fouls. And again, the initial call was that double technical, which was reversed. And this is a typical night for him. Zubon just picked up his fourth. Edwards at the free throw line. He had 49 last week against San Antonio. As the Timberwolves are in the bonus and the numbers for Pat Beverly, but as is usual with Beverly, the numbers don't tell the story. And here's the thing with McDaniels coming on the floor here for Vanderbilt. Now if you're going to help on Carl Anthony Towns, as the Clippers have gone small as well, they have. you've got another shooter on the floor in McDaniels. And length. Norman Powell has come in the game for the first time in the second half for the eighth seed LA Clippers who come the other way. Lost 385 total games because of player injuries or COVID. Wide open three for Paul George. He's knocked down two in a row from distance. Paul George with 18 and two consecutive threes. Shooters and scores, they continue to be aggressive. And that's exactly what Paul George has done throughout this game. Edwards maneuvering on Morris. Beverly thought three. They quickly clamp him down. Towns and Batum. 